it is just me here and I don't have any anything that says, oh, Shauna does this for a living. <laughs> oh, God. Everybody needs to change their fucking language. Somebody asked me the other day, what do you do for a living? And I'm like, Phew. well, um, all I have to drink water and I eat food and I, I, I breathe air. That's how I stay alive. And that's pretty much all that um, I need to do. Just being here is pretty much enough. You know, I See, that's not an enough for a narcissist they, they, because um, because um, they don't include reality. You're there and then they'll have to look like what, what they'll have to accumulate memory that's kind of new about you. And it doesn't and it can't be a projection based in a filter. It's very complicating. And so they'll just rather. Um, um, not observe who you really are. They, they don't really care. See, this is the thing is, is genuinely, they're not capable of being interested in anybody else. They don't like hold space and, and, and like look and, and, and just like get into like, really, you're so weird. You know, you just, you're not the same of these people. They're, so what is, what is, um, Alan Watts says, he says something like that. He just says, how, um, amazingly, um, different you are, you know, even if they are a full-blown gaslighting narcissist, you just, you just kind of honor their, it, J just, one thing you don't, I'm sorry, well, one thing you don't do is, is get hung up on how, what they do, just don't, just ignore it, just ignore it. See, that's what they want. They want your agitation. They're going to start making crazy making. It's what's called crazy making. Um, any narcissist, any, oh, I hate the subject matter, but they want your instability. They want you to be kind of really, really unsure. They wouldn't be standing next to you unless there was some gap. Anyway, I, I'm not looking good today. I just made a video that I just saw something. I put the video up, so I'm not going to talk about that. But. It's not right. Something needs to be done that needs to be halted. It needs to be stopped. And it needs to look like this. It needs to be that we get trucks in here to take out that asphalt. There's some of it spilled around here. See, they put some at another place. It's a it's a camp where kids go. And, it, and it's, we were up in the mountains here. And when we walk around, it's, it's rustic, right? And you look and maybe they had asphalt before, but it's breaking apart. You can see a lot of a lot of conscientious workers they didn't put asphalt down and not in the residential areas see not even see if you really know the regulations that are going on in the city right now they don't allow asphalt in places that butt up against where people are working all the time not really not they they will stop it there's like a certain amount of yardage or something that they just can't work around it it's happening more and more it's because it's a deadly carcinogen Depends on really what, how they doctor it up. And this stuff is very doctored up. It's a special ingredient just for this, what they're doing to me. See, this guy, it's just me here and it's so hard. But I have to go over there and say, by the way, I know you think I'm crazy because when you shine the light and you have a light permanently shining in my, in my living room. And I just one time I flash a flashlight in there at the same time. And I didn't turn it off until it turned off. And, and he thinks that, oh, I'm just going crazy and shining a light in, my, in his yard. And it's like, no, actually, you're insane. Yeah, that's why you're shining a light in my yard, my, my house, and you don't care. You don't even consider. And also, would you please know that the asphalt you just poured down in there is, is it is causing health problems. I just, I don't go to the doctor, and I can't rack up a, a, a record against you saying, otherwise I would. I would sue your ass for causing health problems exacerbating stuff that I've already dealt with. You don't even know it, but it's happening in you. I bet you anything you're slowing down anyway. And you're slowing down to the point of, I think you have something wrong with your brains. Otherwise you wouldn't have done that. Uh, I know I'm right there. It does. It's like you saw a free deal, like a toddler and you thought that you people are not grown up. You're not thinking on your own. See, I feel obligated to at least go talk to these. I know that the people that work at the desk at the, the Strawberry Creek Inn, 
They don't know anything about it. They just work for somebody, but I'm going to tell them, can you please tell me who your boss is, who owned this place, because I want to question them. Where are they coming from? What the fuck do they think they're doing? And then tell them, you know, that that is despicable. I will make them feel bad, and I will leave. Yep, you have to. You do not live an unexamined life. If you do that, there's a saying that says, you have used, you have lived a wasted life if you have not self-reflected and even asked yourself, what am I doing? What does this do for me? What does it do for other people? You should be asking yourself that. See, I think that that's a natural thing that you do. You don't have to be told to do that. You, you start that really early because you're trying to get smart. You're trying to be awesome. You're trying to actually do a good thing in this life. It's weird because I have this sense. It's like, wait a minute. You can't just pinch me out of here and ignore me. I've been here for 35 years now. What has happened? Could somebody inform me what has been happening? See, the help center, when I went there, I knew it. I knew who founded it first. It was found by two different people, and now it's completely changed over, and it's not the same place, so I couldn't be there anymore. It's full of the agenda of fucking narcissists are working there, really, but one person I that thinks they know me. We know of each other, but we, I show up there after they haven't seen me in 25 years, and I'm showing up there. I can see they have compassion for me. They're like, oh, what are you doing here? And I'm like, ask me what I'm doing here. And But she says, she says this, you're still here. It seems like everybody moved. Everybody left. It. They were actually kind of disgruntled about what's happening around them here, and they, they just left. They got, see, I, I know some people personally that um, they lived up here since all of their life they're beautiful people and and they love this place but they said they move and they say you know what this place has a shroud of energy now over it i come back here and i can feel it and it's like i know what you mean they have they are targeting places and they they want it to be miserable and, and they try to do things and it's hilarious they are having a blast doing this it's highly monitored they're they're, they're seeing logging ins of what's happening including like the more and more when they step up just linking in linking in communications getting ai to do algorithms they'll see me here going ah, blah, 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 and, and somebody on mars is going ah. <laughs> they're playing a joke on them <laughs> because why hasn't it fucking stopped yet there isn't really a climate change crisis more so than that, that we have to change people. They were changed and it has to change back into what? Because we haven't really seen it. Conscientious, humane people that ask questions and say, well, I think they think they, they think on their own and say, well, I don't think I'll, I'll do that for me. I don't need that. And, and actually, I'll speak for the whole tribe. It's just not a good idea. Why? Well, you know, you know, it's a poison or something. We want a better life. What they did at the fucking, the, the Strawberry Creek and wherever they put this asphalt, especially the residences, but yeah, the, the, the tourist places that are very, see, it's quaint. And there's just a little patch. You park your, park your car. It should be that. It should have been put in with like cobblestones or something. But look at it, look at it, look at it. Look at the choice. Who are these designers and builders? Nobody that I want to know. They're not doing aesthetics. They can give a fuck about your experience on this plane. They care less about theirs. See, I know I'm experiencing health problems now. It's, it's coming up because what happened is like, well, it, it froze up, it got cold. When the water hits it, you could smell it, but now when it's heating up, I wish I could say that, see, I would not talk about it unless, oh, there it is, and I have to go, see, I, I have to, even though he called the sheriff on me twice. All that they're doing, and it feels, it feels so scuzzy, is they're trying to silence somebody who's raising their voice, and because I'm a woman, it, it, these particular people who are men, 
they're frightened. They're, they're wholly, ungodly, unconsciously frightened. And each of the ones, the sheriff that have come down my driveway, I should have recorded it because they're not, first of all, they're not qualified to be in the position that they are. Because they're supposed to be like supporting and, and li listening to a story and discerning, but they're really now supporting the people who are polluting. Why? Because they're like, oh, Jim, hi, you know. They're just big money. They all know each other. What I like about it is that it's going to end. I'll be willing to drop everything and go to court and just make it a life of just going to court and say, no, you can't do that. And you can't do that. And that's not right. And let's ordain this, this, and this, this, like this. And the dog over there, the whole scene with the people saying that the dog is, and these are narcissists, by the way, ignore them. They aren't doing anything for us or else that stuff can't happen here. There should be a community that says, and we love this place. And the reason why it's beautiful and that the tourist comes up here is, is because we keep it eloquent and uh, or elegant. Um, full of what? You're going to have a scene where it's just natural. There's dirt. Babes, what they did to the Strawberry Creek entranceway place there? And stupid me. I'm I'm watching it. It's like three, three, two, three days. And I'm like, oh yeah, no, those trees need to be removed. There were dead trees. There's big ones that are dying and they needed to remove them. And then I'm looking at it. I'm like, well, wow, they're taking the stumps out too. They have to, right? It's a professional place. They wanted to make life look nice. And I'm like, oh God, I wonder what they're going to plant there next. And I was, I was imagining it should, you know, I, I bet you think they'll put like four trees here and they'll leave it and blah, blah. <laughs> Stupid me. Why couldn't they have put something else down? Make it original. It doesn't make sense. It does not. Well, what they—they—they they, they just they are they are accommodating these these big fat tourists now that they wouldn't know the difference. No, I think they should be boycotted. I think I should go on their website and say, you know what? Um, everybody should just say no to this place because why? First of all, look at it. When you're walking down the road, you're walking anywhere, any place near there, any place. Look at it. It's not the same. It's like oh, and then there's this place. No, I'll skip that. Let's go where it looks like we're in the mountains. I don't know. God, you guys. And, you're, and a lot of people are going to tell me that I'm crazy. And it's like, no, I'm not. And I'm building up a case against you every time that you do reactive abuse on me. Who, whether or not I'm raising my voice or not, like in emotions. See, when I was trying to call the cold enforcement people to, to listen to me, I had had enough by then. I, I knew damn well that I was dealing with people that were acting negligent against, say, my requests. They can care less about me, but they were protecting these people. And I started to raise my voice, and I told them clearly, you do not ignore a, a, a somebody just because they have an emotion or raise their voice. This is going to stop, and we will be heard. You are acting. I, I just told them, this can't happen anymore. You're acting like that you can't hear anybody. You shut down because there's a human emotion in somebody. And, and that's just, I'm sorry, but you need to put people in here that can handle the human emotion. It might be, could, may, might be women who may have had children that they, see, I've, I've noticed this about some women who have children is that they will not, will not treat me like shit no matter how much. They, they, they hold me like a baby in their whole energetic field and then they will do something that soothes and then it's like wow thank you for showing me that that's how some of the the part of the species is and, and uh, it's not just centralized to women cancer men can be this way cancer men not men that have cancer the reason why the population has has this thing called cancer which really is a disease. Why do they joke to us about it's cancer? I know cancer as being feelings. In astrology, it points out your feminine urge, your mother, your feelings, 
how you intuitively pick up and start responding through emotions. And if we block that out, you will get cancer, you will get sick. How? Well, because if you start ignore, ignoring, like I don't ignore what has happened here. And it's like, you know what? I'm trying to keep myself healthy here. And one way that I do is I go back there and I kind of look at him and say, see, I can't do it right now, but I would yell and say, by the way, I am still suffering. I'm suffering new health issues that are exacerbating and emotional problems because you did this. I want you to know that it's wrong. I don't care if you live obliviously and you're going like this and you don't care what I say because you have your friends that would back you up and you say little by little we can do this and it's, we can do anything on and no you can't you are insane and happy life happy life that you have come up against me who will not back down and, and now you cannot unhear this can you you're just fucking stupid is what you are and there is a lot of people unimpressed right now you are hurting somebody because you did that do you know that how do you respond to other people's suffering? How do you think about it? Hmm? That you have made somebody suffer. You think it's not real, huh? 